All right, brother, I'm in need of a job. I have a client with a problem. You'll get your normal rate to assist them with it. It's three men. They've been lured to an old building in Alderney City. Finish them there. Hey, it's Nico. I'm gonna need that backup, man. Can you help? Show. Sure. The boys are on their way.
Tell the client that they don't need to worry. Righteous. I'll get our payment. Contact me on the outside line for more jobs. I'm looking to earn some money, friend. There's a file for you, brother. A quick, smooth job like the last one is what we need. The target is in Alderney City. You're being relied on to eliminate it. I beg the bread for you, my friend. Right on, brother. I'll collect the funds. If you want more work, contact me on the hard line. Hey, you got any work for me? There's a file for you, brother. A quick, smooth job like the last one is what we need. The target is in a car. They're moving around, Alderney. Take them out.
close that file for you, brother. Righteous. I'll get our payment. Contact me on the outside line for more jobs. I'd like some work, my friend. You got anything? I have a client with a problem. You'll get your normal rate to assist them with it. The target's over in the Actor Industrial Park. Make this quiet. It is now time to collect from the client. You've done good, brother. Cleared a lot of files from my desk. Can't use you no more, though. A man loses taste for this kind of work after a time. I can't run that risk with a partner. I understand. This is not the type of thing you want to develop a taste for. Be cool, brother. Keep your senses alert, and you might make retirement. Not many in this game cross that line. So long. I'd be so much more productive if I could smoke at my desk. Tell me about oh it! Oh my god! Hey there, pal! Hey! Hey. Nico, the Balkan sociopath! Eddie Lowe, the animal masturbator. <laughs> you and your wicked sense of humor. You're quite naughty. Quite, quite naughty. Whatever. Quite naughty. Do you like to get spanked? Like, like that? Excuse me? <laughs> no, nothing silly. I'm just being silly. Silly little Billy, that's me. <laughs> I, I like it, though. I like to get spanked. Fuck off. You're creeping me out. No, I don't want to make you angry, Nico. I don't want to be creepy. It's just my way. Well, your way is not cool. Not cool? You say Eddie's not cool? I don't fit in with the in crowd? Well, Mrs. Smith... Eddie's taken your star son, your prized little quarterback, and fucked him in the ass, and then tied him up, strangled him into knots. And your daughter? Your pretty little daughter, Mrs. Abrahams? Eddie's ripped out her intestines just to see if he could feel anything. And you know what? He couldn't. Yeah, he couldn't. 
You should get laid or something. Oh, I just did. A little jogger down by the water. But you know what, handsome? I got a hunger tonight that can't be sated! Come here! Huh. Make, make, finish you off. Nico! Hey. Nico, it's Marnie. Hey, how are you? Are you off the heroin? Mostly. Right, okay. It is okay. Fucking dick. Calm down. I'll see you later. Fuck you! What's wrong? I can't do it anymore. I can't do it! I really fucked up this time. I screwed over a John. I'm gonna get killed. And I'm not really like this. No? What kind of heroin addicted prostitute are you like? I've got a nice family. I'm just fucked up. I've gotta go home. Can you take me to the station? I've got a mom and a dad and they're not so bad. I've gotta go home. Where's home? The Midwest. I mean, it's pretty boring, but <laughs> this is no life. I mean, look at me. I was a fucking cheerleader once. Hey. Come on. Let's go. I gotta get to Grand Eastern Terminal. Thanks a bunch. Have some cash, Marnie. Look after yourself. I'll try, Nico. Thanks. I was right. You are sweet.
Hey, Tommy, check this out. Seven holes, seven race, hey, Joe Phil. What? Hey, pal, what's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Want to walk and talk? Sure. Tommy, give me a call if my big buddy calls. Tell him I went out to get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous! I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> a friend? Oh, I do some work for him. No, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's the slime ball, but uh, he pays. <laughs> sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, he's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. Davis. He's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss! Said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit. It's three days early. Man on the meal. What am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico. I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay? Come on, let's go. Okay, listen. There's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. You scan this thing for bugs? No, but we can be pretty sure it's clean. Chill out. All right, all right. It's just that if we get caught on this one, you and me is going down for a long time. And that means that certain people is going to assume we're whacked, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people if you expect them to whack you if you go inside. Where's the trust, Phil? It's about survival. If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization will go down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. You mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside as an opportunity to get ahead? You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses covered. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product off of some Russians the enchiladas have been dealing with. You was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle a while back. Since that little love affair ended, They've been getting this Russian guy to supply them with sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the talk about the docks was. Exactly. We're taking the sea off the Russians so they can't deliver it to the Enchiladas. Sounds straightforward. We take the coke so that the Russians and the Enchiladas have a falling out. Then we make some money in the process by selling the stuff. Easy. Shit, you sound like you're saying all this just so it's clear on the wiretap. For the record, I don't know what this man is talking about. We're rehearsing a scene for an acting class. I work in waste management. Everything we're saying is fiction. It has no bearing in the real world. Watch it, Nico. All right, this is the truck. Why we need this truck? It must be a shitload of coke we're taking. It should be a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the seat. We should be able to turn up and have them load it up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. I don't know if anyone will give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked out. You and me know it ain't gonna work, and that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of them. Because these is the orders, and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't, and I ain't neither. 
That's why we gotta at least try to do what we're told to do. You're gonna learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife. There ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there are some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something can make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm given. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. This is it. Keep a cool head and everything should be fine. Hey, buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Shoot these commies. You don't want to shoot again. Please.
That's got to be the last of them. You handled yourself real good back there. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later. 